Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great day. I'm Lauren and I am going to be bringing you a tried and true wig from John Renault, Miranda, one of the more popular synthetic wigs, but what's new and different about it is the color. John Renault has released five new colors in what they call their Arctic, Arctic collection. Now these colors, they all have um, blends of gray in them that give it kind of an icy cooler look, which is very fashion forward right now. You go on Instagram and a lot of the more popular Instagram bloggers are going kind of gray with sometimes pink undertones or purple or blue. And John Renault has jumped on that wagon and given us a collection of five different colors across 10 of their best selling wigs. So the wig I am showing you today is Miranda. Now I may have reviewed Miranda before, but definitely in a darker color. But today I am showing you the color Storm which I will get her in the light so you can see how she is new and different. But let me tell you about um, the wig altogether. So this is a very long layered wig. Uh, she has the smart lace front, which is a um, something that is unique to John Renault where they take the lace fibers and they crisscross them and then they kind of melt them together so there's no fraying. It looks very natural. The fibers are very, very fine. So you'll see when I put her on how um, fine it is and how undetectable that lace is. She has a mono part. So the part is on the left side. So it would part here and go to the right if that's typically how you wear your hair. She is an average cap size. The bang is a little over 10 inches long. So the bang in itself is very long, um, that front layer there. The crown is about 12 inches down and then the layers kind of come in at the nape, which is 12 inches and then the sides are 11 inches. So she is a very long layered wig and she has this movement on the bottom so it's not stick straight. So it's gonna give you a natural, um, almost looks like you took the curl and iron and kind of flipped out some pieces at the bottom to give you some movement in this piece. And it is about five ounces, so a little bit heavier because it is a longer um, piece with a lot of hair. Okay, let's talk about this color Storm. Now Storm is a darker gray color compared to like the sleek color that I showed you in Victoria in a previous video. So it's a little bit darker, has multiple shades of gray in it. So it has this very dark root to it, and then it kind of has these, um, I don't know if you can see, I'm right by a window. So you have some blonder colors, you have some dark gray colors in there, and it looks like it almost has a little bit of a pewter color to it, almost a, um, I don't know, kind of a grayish brown color to it. But overall, it's definitely just a dimensional gray color. Um, some of the colors in the Arctic collection have blues and purples. It's nothing like that. This is the most neutral, I feel like, um, if you're going for just a true gray color. And Victoria was more of like an icy blonde. So that's the difference in the colors between the Storm and the Sleet. Okay, so let me go put her on so you can see what she is all about. Be screenshot ready. Here are all the details on John Renault's Miranda in the color Storm. Okay, here she is. This is John Renault's Miranda, which I absolutely love. I think she is so pretty. Um, a great length, not too long, not too short. Uh, a great swooping layer in the front. And I love the movement here on the bottom. And y'all know me with layers. I have, uh, I don't love a piece that has long layers and the bottom layer is so thin that it doesn't match the top layer and it just looks disproportional. But this is very well done. I feel like the fullness on the bottom matches the fullness on the top, giving it an overall really beautiful look. Now, this piece is more about the color than the cut, so let's talk about this color Storm. Now, if you saw my review with Victoria, she came in the color Sleet, which had a lot more blonde in it, which gave it a brighter, icier looking gray. This one has lots of dark brown undertones, which gives it an overall darker gray appearance. Both of them are definitely in the gray family, but if you're wanting something lighter and brighter, I would go with Sleet. This one's going to give you an overall darker tone uh, with Storm. So it is rooted with a very, very dark brown, almost black root, which I think is really great. I love the dimension um, a darker root gives. And then they carried the darker strands all the way through, and then they blended it in with uh, different colors of gray. So you have a very light gray, you have kind of a 
brownish gray, and then you have those darker brown strands running through. So it gives it a beautiful dimensional color. As you can see, those lighter streaks are running through it. I think overall, it's an absolutely beautiful, very natural looking gray color. Uh, I really, really love this color storm. Okay, so back to the piece. Um, we have these longer layers in the front, which you can definitely get an ear tuck with um, on both sides. So you can definitely put that behind your ear. And because it's a longer piece, you could pull it all the way back and do a low ponytail. You could sweep it to the side and do a side ponytail. Um, there's lots of great options with this longer layered look. Okay, let me talk about the Smart Lace. So you can see, you cannot see this lace right here where it is meeting my scalp. It is undetectable. Um, you can definitely see the knotting because it is a darker color in the root. So I would not pull it away from my face because you can see the obvious knotting. But as far as the lace where it meets my skin, you cannot see it. That is the beauty of this Smart Lace collection. They use such a fine, ooh, Got to find my part here. They use such a fine lace and then the way they crisscross it and weld it together, it just is so beautiful and you just cannot even see it. So very great job with that smart lace. Now this has a mono part. So you're only going to be able to part here on the left side and swoop over. You're not going to be able to get a straight middle part with this piece. Um, that's just the way she comes and the part it does have a mono top. So it is very natural looking. Um, you could even make it more natural by plucking some of those hairs out of the part line to give it a more defined look and widen that part line just a little bit. makes it look very natural. Um, I'm going to give you a 360 so you can see all the way around, but here she is in the front with a lot of the hair pulled forward. And then if we were to kind of pull it back here, let me lower my seat, you can get a side view and the back. And then this side, and all the way around. She is a beautiful piece. Now she is an average cap. Um, I'm typically an average cap size and the adjustable ear tabs are hitting me in the temples where they should. I don't feel any bunching. She is a very comfortable wig. Um, and she is one of John Renault's, one of, one of their top selling wigs. So people love, love, love this wig. Um, again, what's new about her is just this color, the Arctic collection. Now there are 10 different wigs. If you love the color, but maybe don't love the style, you have nine other choices that you could take a look and see uh, all the different styles this storm color comes in. So if you wanna check it out, head over to wigs by pattiespearls.com. John Renault's the manufacturer. Miranda is the wig and then the color from the Arctic collection is Storm. All right, I will see you guys next time. Bye.